I'm out here in Ely, Nevada. It's a little town in central Nevada that I love to come visit every once in a while. We usually come up here at least once a year uh, to hang out. So this weekend, what I'm gonna be doing is just showing you around this town, a bunch of different things. We're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing. Oh my God, here, get the net, get the net. We're gonna do a little bit of gambling and just eating out and stuff. Awesome city, I love it out here. Great scenery, it's not a big town, but it's very outdoorsy oriented. A lot of hunters come through here, so a lot of the stores kind of cater to that. Awesome locals, awesome food, and uh, weather's absolutely great. It's a little bit windy now, but in Vegas, it was over 100 degrees, and we've been sitting here in 80 degrees. I feel absolutely great right now. This city has a lot of history in it too. This city was actually gonna be Vegas before Vegas was Vegas if that makes sense. The only reason it didn't is because you see these right here, these big mountains, they couldn't get the train through them as easy as they can get it down to Las Vegas. So the only reason that I'm not currently standing in the gambling center of the world. Should be a great time. All right. I love this little town. Hey, check out these gas prices over here real quick. Let me show you something. Right when the big rig pulled up. <laughs> so normally I would be mad about this price right here, $146. I had a quarter of a tank and I filled up here. You see that price over there? In Vegas, it's like 540 right now. So I don't understand how they're shipping it all the way up here and it's still less than it is in Vegas. You guys are price gouging us. Here's the boat. Well, that's Ely. 200 yards worth. Here's where we're staying at. Jailhouse Motel. Why do you look like a possum eat? A what? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good beer, right? If you end up in racks, you gotta go with the Battleborn beer. This thing's delicious. Nevada born, Battleborn. Let's go, baby. <laughs> look at all those racks. Yeah. The whole walk in's nothing but pictures of bulls and elk, or like bulls and bucks that people shot out here. All kinds of cool mouths. This is a cool place. That looks delicious. Western burger, baby. You gotta smash it so that you, you can fit it in your mouth. I just ate the biggest burger at the rack and I had two, what were those, 20 ounce beers? Yeah. Two 20 ounce beers, oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna make it back to my hotel room. You got any porta potties right here? You come here, there's a lot of history. Check out this art. I love art, but this is art. Big metal planks. And Whoever did that is awesome. Look at this art. It's beautiful. What the? Hey, if you guys stop in Ely, the racks, their Western burger hit the spot. Point. That was good. And then they had a Battleborn beer. So if you're over 21 and you're here in Ely, get the Battleborn beer with the Western burger, you won't regret it. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the, what is this? Toy store. Toy store. Look at that. Old fashioned toys. Can't beat it. They have some big ovens out here in Ely too, where it was a big business to make coal. So they'd cut trees and burn them to make coal. I'll show you a picture right here. That's me chilling in the oven. They're cool. What is that? Sakdai Muay Thai Academy. Todoshi Sanaka was my Shadoshi. Hotel Nevada, Western Hospitality. This right. one's pretty cool, huh? Here's all the celebrities from the town right here with their stars. I'm gonna see what it takes to get my own one. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Oh, Charlie Pride, he ain't from here. Hank Thompson. This must be all the Western actors or something. Mickey Rooney. No, these are all like movie stars and stuff. Yeah, like maybe Gary they just, Cooper, maybe yeah. they just came here. Yeah, but this place right here is cool. You go into this hotel and, and casino. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Have you been down here? No. They got some old stuff down there. These are, uh, yeah, old stuff from the natives that used to hang around this area. This is from Indian. This guy right here, they say he, he walks around here at night and he haunts this place. I don't know. Whose mouth is co-originated with the words, this man worked, we got it. Wow, he's famous. Look at these old boxers. There's Archie Moore. I've heard of him before. They gotta have Mike Tyson name. No, these are way yeah. back in the day, yeah. 1800s. Look who they got. They Look got at that a... boxing stance. 
We've evolved as humans since that boxing stance. Look at that. So what's crazy about boxing is they, they didn't go 12 rounds. Back in the day, they would go until somebody either got knocked out or got killed. It's pretty crazy. All right, we're out here at the casino. Gambling a little bit. It feels great to be 21. You know, these are things that I've seen forever and haven't been able to do, but I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Look at this. Man, he looks a little funky right there, but I'm pretty sure this is a wolf. About 99.99%. That's way too big to be a coyote. That's pretty cool. Really cool. I would love to have some sort of mountain like that someday of maybe like a coyote. Is that a caribou horn in there? Definitely a wolf. You gonna give me some good luck? Hold up. Dab me up real quick. That's pretty dang good. Well, that was fun. All right, I'm down maybe 20 bucks, 40 bucks. I don't know. I was playing penny machines the whole time. These casinos been robbing us lately. Cool spot though. Beautiful casino. Oh, those are some nice poles. Yep. You ready to get this? You ready to go fishing? Yep, let's do it. All right. There's war machine. It's a little bit windy. I'm so glad there was plenty of parking while we were here. Gotta undo all the locks. We bought this lock because our other one, we lost the key to it. Bought that at Cal Ranch. Love that shop. Yeah, really cool shop here in England, Cal Ranch. It's an outdoor store. It's really big. It's pretty cool. If you come to Ely and need anything outdoors, this is your spot right here. They have everything. Fishing licenses, all the baits you need, all the tackle, guns, everything. Sports world. Another great store, Cow Ranch. It has everything you need from clothes to outdoor stuff. We like to get our dog chicken feet from there every time we come. If you're coming and you're on a budget, there's a Motel 6. We've stayed there before. But honestly, the jailhouse where we stayed is a lot nicer than that. And it's only like 15 bucks more a night. So it's worth it. We just found out today was free fishing day. That means this place is gonna be packed to the gills. Look at that, it's never this packed. I like what the state did though, look at all this. They put shade out here, benches, looks good. How many pike you think? I'm guessing five, we're gonna catch five pike. Five pike? What do you think the biggest one's gonna be though? Uh, I'm five hoping pounds? 20 inches. 20 inches? Yeah. yeah. I hear that there's a bunch, they're small right now, but. They've supposedly been shocking 20 pounders out of this lake though. So we brought big swim baits and a whole bunch of tackle. So third in here, hopefully I'll hook up on a 20. Is that the old Johnny Morris bass tracker? It is. Yeah, yeah the old school one. Those, Those are cool. cool. Yeah, let's do it. 20 pounder, here we come. <laughs> Cummins Lake, it's beautiful out here. They even put a ramp. This is crazy. Oh, that's a three pounder. Look at the monsters right there. Where? There's a massive one coming right in it. Oh man, that's gonna be on. All right, you guys ready? There's about a hundred of them. Yeah, we're ready. We're gonna kill it today. Wow, this is nuts. Holy cow, look at these. Trout. Two pounders, two three pounders. Yeah, probably two three pound trout everywhere. Oh man, the pike are gonna be full if there's any big ones. All right. We're out here at an awesome lake here in Nevada, Cummins Lake. There's absolutely massive trout. We just launched the boat and I'm seeing them everywhere. So those are gonna be a guaranteed catch, I gotta say. And today just happens to be free fishing day. So the whole bank is covered with people and they're all catching fish. So it's cool to see that. I love seeing when you know a lot of people are having a great time catching fish. But this lake has some absolutely phenomenal fishing. And one of the reasons is actually because there's just a lot of like snails and stuff. There's a lot of food for uh, fish to eat in here. So that's one reason it's a world-class trout fishery. There's a lot of really big trout in this lake. We're gonna catch a few of those. There's a lot of pike in this lake as well. Uh, our friend was telling us that Enda was shocking some 20s down there by the dam. So uh, we're definitely gonna be looking after some pike. And there's a lot of bass in this lake too. When we came out here like a year or two ago, we couldn't keep them off the hook no matter what we tried. So. Uh, 
pretty dang exciting and those trout are <laughs> they're pretty big so we're gonna absolutely kill it start fishing right here this stuff looks good they got spinner bait they got flipper sure. rig got top water what, got are you, what are you gonna use right now i'm gonna use this frog real quick Got him. Yay! Sprinkle. Little guy. It's no license day, so my wife never wants a license and she gets a real one in. Alright, did you get him? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this thing. That thing is it's huge. Oh, that's a beautiful looking fish too. <laughs> that was a good fight? Yeah. It's my dinner. go it's not a big one by any means but it's a pike we've been fishing here for a few hours catching just little bass haven't been able to connect on a pike yet but finally did little guy we're gonna keep them they don't want them here because they eat up all the trout but it feels you had some weed fish <laughs> but it feels good to finally catch one this is exactly what we were after out here on this lake there's some really big ones, and we saw one that was probably 20 pounds, but uh, he bit a Huddleston we were throwing earlier, but he didn't hook up. You're going to have to net him. Chase him, chase him. Okay, well, let him take all these ones. Yep, 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 let him take it. This is a 15 pounder plus. All right, go that way. Oh my God. We got to get this guy. This is what we came for. What'd you get him on? Jerk bait. It's 10 pound test. Very big fish. Oh my god. Oh, I see. Bring him this way. No, he's not ready. He's not ready. He's not ready. This thing's. Let, let, let him run. Let him run. Let him run. Where's that join more slot? No, he's, he's open spool right now. I'm open spool. He swallowed this whole thing in too, so he's got very sharp teeth. My goal right now is just to tire him out. This is going to be a very long fight. There's no such thing as horsing this fish in at all. We can do it. We can do it. I am, I am. But literally he just runs out of nowhere. We gotta get this one. We gotta get it. This is like a medium light pole too. It's for a jerk bait. Am I supposed to be hitting the red button? Does it say are you see on it? Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. No, 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 no. Watch out, watch out. Trying to float over him. We're floating. What do you need me to do? Shivel flop. He's straight under. He's cut left, cut left. Okay, good, 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 good. No, not yet. Not until he puts his head up. If you can, if you can, get his 
face. Ah, oh my god! Ah, oh my god! Woo! That's oh how you my do it god! Look at that. Oh, Watch out. Wow. He swallowed that bait. You know how lucky I am at the fact that this fish did not break my line? He swallowed it. That's why he's bleeding. 10 pound test. Swallowed the oh, entire This sucker. I, this is pushing 20. Unreal. Unreal. Wow. I this. can't believe it right now. I'm going to cut my line. So I don't have to worry about it. The odds of me landing that fish with him swallowing it like he did were probably one in a million. Look at that. Woo! That's what it's about right there. She's so slimy, I gotta get a better grip. Later. <laughs> Biggest fish I've ever caught in my whole life. Sharks and everything included. Yeah, I've caught sharks, caught salmon, I've caught everything. By far the biggest fish I've ever caught. 18. There goes the 18. 18, point. 9. Oh, wait, 19. It hit 19. 18, 9. 19, we're gonna call it a 19 pounder. Right. That scale doesn't go by ounces. This is why I'm so surprised that he didn't break off. Can you see that? I seriously have broken off on two pound bass before, fighting them forever on 10 pound tests and stuff. It just, it's weird how it happens. You know, I fish for bass and I'm reeling in a fish and I nick the very slightest little piece of structure, gone. This guy's got little razor blades as teeth, a whole mouthful and I literally reeled them in. It's, it's insane, they really did. I want a picture like this in next to my leg. 48 inch long live well. That thing's almost the length of it. So he's probably 40 inches. I need a dang beer after that. Yep. There's a bunch of small ones. I got, I'm surprised they caught this one. Well, we're just about done packing up the boat, but what do what you think about today? Trip. What a fun trip. Came out here expecting, you know, to catch a couple pike, maybe four or five pounders. We've caught a couple four or five pounders before. And uh, never in a million years would have guessed that we got a 19, about a 19 pounder. That's the biggest that I've seen out here, to be honest. And um, those things are invasive species. They don't really want them in here. They've tried to kill them off before they drain the lake and they just keep coming back because those things eat a lot of the trout that are in here. So when you catch them, you got to kill them. We're definitely going to take that one. We want to get them mounted since we got to get rid of them anyways. We're going to try to get them mounted. So we'll see what happens. But a very blessed day. Happy to be out here. Had a lot of fun. And I love this part of the, the state, Ely. It's beautiful out here. I know a lot of you guys are new subscribers and uh, maybe you haven't watched a lot of our hunting or fishing content yet. If you're not familiar with fishing in a desert in a state like Nevada that you uh, think about subscribing for more awesome content in the future, I promise that we got a lot of cool content coming up very soon. A lot of opportunities and a lot of awesome stuff we're going to get on film. All right, we're off the water. That fish is huge. My guess he's about 40 inches long. I'm thinking about getting him mounted. He's such a big fish. But I'll probably never catch a pike that big ever again unless I start going up to Canada and stuff and maybe I might catch a, a northern pike that big again. Odds are not though, so. The situation is, he won't fit in my ice chest. We called up a good buddy of ours, Dimitri. He's helped us a lot of times before. And he said he's got plenty of room and a really big freezer so we can go and freeze him overnight so that I could take him back to Vegas and get him mounted. Dude, that's sick. Yeah, so yeah, sick. They're bad. Yeah, we don't know uh, how much it'll cost to mount them, but we'd like to get them mounted. Yeah, for sure. If, if I decide just to do a replica mount, then I'm going to cut them open to see what it is. <laughs> how long can we, little tigers. How yeah. long can we leave them here? As long as you need to, my friend. All right, we made it back safe, back in Vegas. Uh, my bad about this video being a little bit longer. You know, I wanted to show my whole trip right there. And I had a blast hanging out with family. That's what it's all about in the end. Um, just hanging out with friends and family, having a great time, going on a little bit of a vacation like that. Everybody that's here because of Lake Mead videos, you know, about the water drought and everything, I'm actually going to go out today and film another one. 
just for an update because like we said every couple weeks we're going to go out there and update you guys because you guys really have been enjoying that content also uh, i really do appreciate you guys for watching this video stay safe out there guys thanks for watching and i'll see you outdoors